city of Santa Maria for more than three years. Tonight, a grand jury issued new indictments against gang members charged with murder. News Channel 3, Sean Larson joins us live from the courthouse with details. Sean. Beth and CJ, 17 suspects have been indicted. 12 of those suspects indicted for first degree murder. Another five suspects indicted for conspiracy to commit murder, among several other charges. Now, earlier today, I spoke with a man who tells me he's relieved to see this case moving forward. In the beginning, yeah, I, I was scared for uh, my girlfriend, our son. The beginning of 2016 was a nervous time for a lot of people around Santa Maria, like Cole Berea and his family. Yeah, that's why I went out and got my gun license. <laughs> On Monday morning, 17 suspects were indicted at the Superior Court of California off Cook Street. 12 of those suspects facing first-degree murder, special circumstances of multiple murder, lying in wait, special circumstance of torture, special allegations of principal use of a firearm causing death, conspiracy to commit murder, attempted murder, criminal street gang conspiracy, witness intimidation by force, and conspiracy to commit street terrorism. The suspects face up to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Ten victims who have died and they've charged these suspects with murder. Senior Deputy District Attorney Ann Bramson says there's also 14 victims who survived the violence. Court records show all the incidents took place between January 2013 and March of this year. Five additional people were arraigned for conspiracy to commit murder. The charges include gang charges on everyone. One of those people accused is Jose Bonilla Mejia. His defense attorney, Tom Allen, says his client didn't do it. And just prepare. I have him coming up. I'll be talking with him more. Uh, I'll be talking with him extensively and uh, getting the paperwork from the prosecutor. As for Berea and his family, he says he's glad the homicides in Santa Maria have slowed down. I'm very happy. Take him out. Take him out of here. Take him off the streets. We don't No. no need to have him here. And all 17 suspects are due back in court July 22nd for a continued arraignment. The judge saying today that she will allow cameras in the courtroom. Reporting live in Santa Maria, Sean Larson, News Channel 3. While the murder rate has stabilized since Operation Matador. Others still feel unsafe at times in Santa Maria. I won't go certain places at night and um, always nervous when I come out of the movies and make sure I park real close to the theater. Some mints were chief describing the MS-13 street gang. They just started their wave of terror. It's the only way you can really describe it. The, the Reds are homicides, wherein we know that they were, uh, was a gang involved. This chart shows shootings and marked in red homicides over an intense one-year period. Nine of the killings attributed by police to MS-13. We saw an unprecedented amount of shootings uh, starting in June 15 and culminating all the way up to about January 15. Day. Police say 17-year-old Adrian Velasquez of Santa Maria was found with a gunshot wound to the head in the 300 block of West New Love Drive. That was shortly after 8 o'clock that night. Police say they don't have a motive for the shooting at this point, if you know anything Shooting about it. in Santa Maria. KSBY News reporter Kelsey McFarland is there for us this evening, and she's on scene. Kelsey, what do we know at this point? Well, Dan Karina, I just arrived to the 800th block of Pine Avenue in Santa Maria. I'm going to bring in Russ Mangel with Santa Maria Police Department that can tell us some more details. What can you tell us so far? Yeah, over the last hour, we received the call of uh, shots being fired here in the 800 block of South Pine. Officers arrived to find a male juvenile that was struck. Um, during the course of the investigation, we learned that the suspects fled in a vehicle from the area. We're looking for that vehicle currently. Uh, the juvenile victim was transported uh, by ambulance and then ultimately it's going to either be here in the city or transported to a regional medical center. Um, we're in the very early stages of the investigation, so we don't have a lot to push out at this point. Do we know anything about the victim's condition? It's serious. Um, it, it, it was a great concern uh, to the uh, fire and medics that were here. Um, so we'll see what happens here in the next hour or two. Is it multiple people that you're searching for? We, we don't know how many occupants were in the vehicle. At this point, we're considering that there may have been a couple. 
Um, so we're working through that with interviews of witnesses and other involved parties um, to figure out what, what exactly occurred here tonight. Okay, and do we have a description of the vehicle by any chance? Um, just at this point, we don't. Um, we're going to firm that up. The make and model is, is something that's being called into question. We have say the shooting involved an unknown number of people, but with only one gunshot victim. Officers spent the night processing the crime scene, collecting evidence, and chasing down leads toward a possible arrest for the shooting. The police identified it took the three men they believe are connected to a deadly shooting last fall. They're each being held on $2 million bail. Thomas Castillo, Nicholas Guzman, and Juan Contreras are charged with gang conspiracy to commit murder in connection to the case. Castillo and Guzman also face charges of gang conspiracy and possession of a firearm. Castillo and Guzman were arrested in October of last year. Contreras arrested in June. The case is still under investigation. ...that happened late last night. Officers say at approximately 7.30 p.m. they received reports of a shooting in the area of Thornburg Avenue and Church Street in Santa Maria. Witnesses reported seeing a suspect get out of a car, fire several rounds at three young men walking on a sidewalk, then get back in the car and that car sped uh, Also off. following breaking news out of Santa Maria where police are looking for the person who shot a man tonight. They were called to North Railroad Avenue in the area of West Orchard Street just before 8 o'clock tonight. KSBY News reporter Kelsey McFarland is there live now. Uh, Kelsey, what can you tell us? are still on scene trying to piece together what exactly happened here. What we do know is that one Double stabbing was, was reported in Santa Maria last night and police say the person responsible is still roaming free. Police say two men in their 20s were stabbed in the parking lot of an apartment complex in the 900 block of West Morrison Street around 9.30 last night. One victim was dropped at the hospital by a friend. The other tried driving to the police station to report what happened but mistakenly drove to the courthouse thinking it was the right location. We're still searching for the suspect this morning uh, and uh, actually throughout the entire day, obviously trying to determine if gangs were involved.